Pisces, whoever I'm picking up on today, one of your superpowers is how seen you allow people to feel in your presence. It's like when you really look at people, Pisces, they feel seen, they feel acknowledged. Um, some people, Pisces, they may get nervous because it feels like you can see right through them. And other people, Pisces, they just feel acknowledged, seen, recognized. And I'm getting that that's one of your superpowers. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. A lot of people, Pisces, they like your energy. They like what you're about, but they also know that you don't really that you don't really participate in the crowd, Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles has been coming up for your readings. This is a very independent card, and it's a card, Pisces, of being focused on yourself, on your business, on the things that you're working on, the things that are flourishing in your life. And so Nine of Pentacles to the Justice, the Two of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Pisces, you've got a lot of good cards here. I haven't clarified yet, so I don't know what else is going to come in here. But the Justice is saying, Pisces, some people may feel like you have some kind of divine connection or some kind of divine assistance, okay? Some people, Pisces, may perceive it as you just have really good energy about you. You're just very, very much in the moment, very much minding your own business, doing your own thing, focusing on your abundance, giving back to yourself. And other people, Pisces, they feel like, yeah, it's some kind of divine connection. Like they feel like there's something different about you. Um, I haven't clarified Pisces, but a lot of the messages that come up for your reading is people that feel uneasy or nervous around you because they feel like you can really see them. Um, and for some people, Pisces, that just rubs them the wrong way. But what I'm seeing here with the justice is there's another set of people, Pisces, that view that as divine okay like you showing up pisces with that energy it's like sharing that smile sharing that positive energy it changes the day it shifts the vibration for them two of cups some people pisces they may be very curious about you they may want to learn more about you whether they want to ask you questions whether they want to come into some kind of friendship or connection or relationship with the two of cups but for you pisces i'm getting more of an independent energy see how nine of pentacles is just you and then we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up again in your reading. So it's just you here. I don't know, Pisces, for some of you, you're not really looking for new connections or new friendships. You're very much focused on your business, on what you're doing. Uh, maybe you have different businesses, different kinds of projects that you're working on. Um, Nine of Pentacles, yeah, it's a very abundant energy. But the Wheel of Fortune says, Pisces, there is a change of events coming to your life. Um, it looks positive because it's the Wheel of Fortune and it's in the upright. So let's go ahead and see what that's about. Holy Spirit, what is this Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? What is this about? Please clarify your Wheel of Fortune for Pisces. What do you want Pisces to know about the Wheel of Fortune? Got the strength so major arcana major arcana major arcana pisces these are all very powerful cards and they're all in the upright let me go ahead and pull one more or actually i'm gonna take them we got the king of pentacles the hierophant we got the lovers gemini energy three of wands and then the nine of cups <clears throat> What is the Wheel of Fortune for Pisces? The Strength, the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Pisces, whatever this change of events is, whatever this change or shift in energy is, because we have the Wheel of Fortune, it has to do, it has to do Pisces, with what you've been waiting for, okay? Um, the Three of Wands is a card, Pisces, of reassurance that your ships are coming in, okay? Like, it's official, they're coming in, there's an expectation, you can feel it. You can feel things changing, whoever I'm speaking to. Three of Wands, for some of you Pisces, something that you started or something that's connected to the month of March, okay, it's like you're carrying that forth. Three of Wands, for, the, for some of you Pisces, the next three days, the next three weeks, the next three months are going to be very important in regards to whatever this is. So change of events, why? Because your ships are coming in to Nine of Cups to bring in some kind of wish fulfillment. But Pisces, what I'm getting here also with the strength, this is a card of allowing yourself to be seen it's a position of leadership it's a position pisces of just showing up being who you are courageously and 
showing off what is it that you've accomplished within yourself spiritually pisces because the nine of pentacles is pre empress energy whereas the strength pisces is someone who's on a mission someone who has some kind of purpose someone who's ready to showcase some kind of transformation or something that they've overcome why king of pentacles because you're about to attain something pisces that you've been working towards this entire time getting very clear pisces on what is it that you're trying to do what is it that you're trying to manifest what are the kind of people that you want to have around you okay for some of you pisces you're just deciding what this new phase is going to be about for you what is it that you want to change about your life what is it that you want to change about yourself and with the three of wands pisces a lot of you have been patient with this transformation a lot of you have been waiting for the ships to come in for that opportunity for that change for that movement and it's saying here pisces it's official we're going from the three of wands to the nine of cups your ships are coming in to bring back or to bring forth some kind of wish fulfillment with the nine of cups but the lovers you have to be very clear and very decisive on what is it that you want in your life who is it that you want around you pisces because it's going to change a lot in your life it's going to change pisces who you are and where you're headed okay a lot of times pisces we don't even realize how our environments begin to shape us the friendships around us the people that we connect with on a daily basis it slowly starts to uh change little details about us we start to pick up little things and when the wheel of fortune shows up that is a change of fortune that is a change of events so for a lot of you pisces there's a need to make a decision of who you want to be who you're going to hang out with what are the things that you're going to tolerate what are the things that you're not going to tolerate what is it that you're going to do with your time how does it how is it that you're going to nourish yourself pisces because some people may want your energy some people may expect your energy but not all of them pisces are here to not all of them pisces are here to bring out the best sides of you okay so that's a, a task pisces that you're going to have to figure out you're going to have to figure out pisces what kinds of people you're going to allow around you what are the things that you're going to put up with and not okay because it feels pisces like you've come a long way okay we got a 10 which is the wheel and then we got the 11 which is the justice you have some kind of divine opportunity coming your way pisces and i'm going to be very honest the hierophant You've been divinely guided, Pisces, all along, even if you didn't fully recognize it, even if you didn't see it at the time, it was happening, okay? It was in motion. The wheels were already set in motion. The lovers, yeah, but it's time to get decisive. Some of you, Pisces, you may end up teaming up with someone, okay? You may end up having some kind of new relationship or connection or friend coming into your life because we do have the two of cups and we do have the lovers, but others of you Pisces, you're going to you're going to recognize what is it that you're trying to bring about? What is this next phase, this next chapter about for you? Okay, we got the Queen of Wands uh, in the up right at the bottom of the deck, 818 on the clock. Some of you Pisces, you feel very powerful, very whole and complete and confident on your own right now. So you may want to go solo Pisces. You may want to focus on what you're manifesting at this time. Okay, I'm just looking into this card. Look at all this fire coming from the base, okay? You're working on some kind of manifestation here, Pisces. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, whether male or female, uh, these are entrepreneurs. These are businessmen, businesswomen, okay? These are self-starters. So for some of you, Pisces, you have a lot of self-confidence and self-reassurance in what it is that you're working on to the point where you might just go at it alone, Pisces, with the Three of Wands. Others of you, you have an opportunity to partner up Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? And the Two of Cups, Pisces, doesn't have to be romantic, okay? Sometimes it can be a business collaboration, a platonic friendship, um, someone that comes into your life, like a mentorship, some kind of relationship, maybe even a family dynamic. And for others of you, it could potentially turn into something romantic. So Two of Cups and the Lovers. Let me go ahead and pull a few cards here. We got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Eight of Cups uh, in the upright, the Temperance in the reverse, and the Two of Swords. So we got Two Two coming in. For some of you Pisces, um, this is past energy, okay? Because the Eight of Cups tells me that um, there was some kind of walking away that led to an imbalance with the Temperance, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, Two of Swords. Pisces, in the past, there was a connection that was holding on to you okay i'm not getting that you were holding on to it it was holding on to you to a swords and it was trying to hold on to your energy as long as possible okay i just heard hostage okay whatever this was it was trying to keep your energy hostage like someone was trying to leech onto your energy or someone was trying to someone was trying to 
tailgate in a sense, Pisces. Like they were trying to hold on to you in a sense. Because the Eight of Cups tells me, Pisces, you're already on your way. You're already moving in a different direction here. You let something go, okay? With that burning bowl ceremony, you let something go. And now you already start to take your first steps towards the horizon. You're no longer in this pond. You're no longer in this place. You grew out of this phase, Pisces. And now you're walking towards the horizon. Two of Cups, someone has been holding on to your energy. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse for the wrong reasons. And that's been creating some kind of stagnation or resistance in your energy to move. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups, Holy Spirit. What is this about? Tell me more. Eight of Pentacles. So we got Eight, Eight. So Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Pisces, for some of you, even your ability to focus or concentrate on your work or your projects, like that was being affected in this past cycle or this previous uh, environment. Because the Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is your work, okay? This is your craft. This is how you get things done and the inspiration, okay? How much you've gathered Pisces to make something happen. And as you can see here, she's focused on that candle. She's trying to hone in on her focus. But in the reverse, Pisces, for some of you, this connection or this environment was holding you back from your potential. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's time to believe in yourself, Pisces, and to release this environment, the situation, this connection, whatever it is, the temperance is in the reverse, is creating an imbalance in the energy. The wheel of fortune changes fate, destiny, a lucky break, cycling up through karmic lessons, the chaos of creation, a turning point, serendipity. Get ready, sweet soul, for the wheel is about to gift you divine blessings. Synchronicity is afoot, so look for wonderful new opportunities to propel your life ahead. Be prepared for fortuitous meetings or a fork in the path that will change everything for the better. If you're open to spotting opportunity, it's yours for the taking. Just follow the breadcrumbs of serendipity and fate towards your happy ending. Remember that the wheel is always spinning and that things are never the same as they were before. Learn to enjoy this constant regeneration and know that with every spin, we have the chance to cycle upwards towards our own expansion and enlightenment. Trying to control the outcome of the Wheel of Fortune would prove to be impossible, so don't. Grab your lucky dice and see the spinning of the wheel for what it really is. All the beauty of a lifetime and experiences waiting to spring forth and be lived. I allow the transformative energies of fate to help me expand my experience. So Pisces, yeah, okay, I'm getting that your energy was stifled or blocked in the past. Like you may have felt low energy or you may have felt like there was some kind of blockage or resistance in your path. Yeah, Pisces, I'm getting that your energy was being held hostage. It was being siphoned, Pisces. Um, the Two of Swords is a blockage, okay? Someone was either holding onto your energy and that was creating a blockage, Pisces. And it was, it almost feels like, yeah, like leeching onto your energy, taking your energy. It's like all of a sudden you're gonna feel a rush of energy. You're gonna feel enthusiastic, excited, positive, happy. And that's a sign, Pisces. Someone is no longer able to hold on to you the way that they once did, okay? Because I heard hostage, like someone wasn't willing to let go of your energy and you were feeling the repercussions of that, okay? Eight of cups, even though you walked away physically, you were still feeling the energetic or the mental drains, okay? Of having someone leech onto you and leech onto your energy. The temperance, it may have even tried to create an imbalance between your feminine and masculine energy. Yeah. I don't know who this is, Pisces, but they can feel that they're being left behind, all right? The temperance is card number 14. One plus four is five. Fives are all about change and transformation. This person, Pisces, they don't like change. They don't like transformation, whereas you embrace it, okay? You welcome it into your life. You know, Pisces, that if you resist something, it's going to persist, all right? Like you already have that divine knowledge, justice. Card number eight. A lot of you may be perceived as lucky. Like how did Pisces do that? How did Pisces pull that off? right and you keep quiet you keep silent you keep to yourself so a lot of people are just wondering how you pulled something off how you made it happen king of pentacles whatever divine knowledge you have pisces you're applying that in your life and it's giving you physical results and people want to know how you're doing it people want to know pisces 
either out of curiosity, out of just, you know, being nosy. I don't know what this is, but people want to know what you're up to and how you do it. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. They want to know, Pisces, how you make things happen, how you're able to manifest from the 5D into the 3D, how you're able to get the outcomes and the results that you want. And it almost may seem, Pisces, like a snap of a finger, but it's not, okay? They have no idea how much work you've put into this. They have no idea how many lessons you've gone through, okay? Is it true that you're divinely connected? Yes. Is it true that you receive your intuition a lot more strongly or you've developed your intuition and now that you're able to follow that you may even seem like you're 10 steps ahead of people okay like yeah all of that is true pisces but the reason why is you believe you have faith and when you get certain nudges or intuitive messages that come in you follow that guidance and this is why you're where you are okay so justice card number 11 some people perceive you as lucky again the 11 11 portal pisces is something that it's kind of like the energy aligns at the right place at the right time and you're able to get things done in a very seamless way justice yeah this is all about balance whereas temperance is a lack of balance and a lack of moderation it feels like opposite energies with this justice and the temperance it feels like the energy just swings from one direction to the other okay one minute you're feeling very grounded and balanced within okay this is when you're connected to the divine and the next minute temperance in the reverse when you connect with other people it may feel it may feel like it takes your energy in a different direction and sometimes it takes it out of balance. It takes it out of moderation. Temperance in the reverse can also be clashing interests, okay? People that come in and they have very different intentions or very different motivations than yours and nobody's willing to really compromise. It's like oil and water. It's a very, yeah, it's a very unpleasant kind of energy. It doesn't mix. It doesn't go well together. So yeah, you go from a place, Pisces, of being fully balanced and grounded with the divine to opening up to people and feeling a little bit, I heard discombobulated, okay? I don't know for who that is, but the temperance is all about learning how to hone in on that feminine masculine energy. So you know when to use each energy Pisces. Again, the moon is the feminine, the sun is the masculine. In the reverse, it is clashing interests, it's oil and water. Someone is still in your energy Pisces and it's like the intentions, the energy is so different, so drastic that you had to walk away. You already knew that that was not it for you, okay? But this person decided to hold on to you and that was creating some kind of resistance in your energy. It was creating some kind of... Yeah, it's like they were holding your energy hostage. You could feel that. Tell me about this temperance, Holy Spirit, in the reverse. What is this about, Holy Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this temperance in the reverse? We have a lot of major arcana, Pisces. Let's see. Okay, we got the Three of Pentacles and we got the Star. Someone may want to collaborate with you, Pisces. Someone may want to work with you. But you're too focused on a dream. You're too focused on a star. You're too focused on wanting to make something happen here. Three of Pentacles. There's too many cooks in the kitchen is what I just heard. Pisces, some of you, when you decide to kind of open up and collaborate with others, Sometimes it may work out amazingly well if you're connected to your self and you're connected to the divine It just flows. It just goes in your favor But sometimes when you're around people that have very different interests and very different intentions It may create uh, an imbalance or a scatteredness in the energy is what I'm getting here. It's three of Pentacles. Yeah, too many cooks in the kitchen The star you're very much focused on bringing some kind of wish fulfillment into your life Okay, and it's funny that we have the star and the nine of cups both of these cards talk about a wish fulfillment, something coming true. Something coming into fruition for you, Pisces. I don't know what this is. We will go ahead and clarify and dive deeper, but I'm going to go ahead and look into this Three of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, what are the messages from the Three of Pentacles to Pisces? What are the messages from the Three of Pentacles to Pisces? Prioritize. WTF. Yeah. Okay, yes, Pisces, that's what I got. There's too many cooks in the kitchen. A lot of people, Pisces, may want to get to know you or collaborate with you or kind of just see what you're about. When you're kind of doing your own thing and you're fully grounded and rooted and connected to the divine, things are in balance, things are in flow, things are just moving in the right direction. When you decide to open up, okay, and you have other people kind of come into your energy, whether they want to work with you, whether they're just curious about you, whether they're trying to reconnect, whether it's new people, people that you already know, it kind of makes you feel like you're out of balance, okay? Like your interests, their interests, your intentions, their intentions, they're not in alignment, okay? And it makes you feel, yeah, temperance in the reverse. And this makes you want to focus on the star. 
So prioritize. Pisces, some people may want your time and your energy, but I'm getting that it may not be in your best interest, depending on what you're trying to do here. The star and the nine of cups. Yeah, this is only you, Pisces, okay? I'm only seeing you in this car. I'm only seeing one person, okay? I'm not seeing a whole crowd. This is three people. This is two people, okay? The lovers, this is two people again. It's the feminine and masculine. I'm getting Pisces that this is a path that you have to go on. This is something that is in alignment with your soul path, with your purpose, with your mission, with where you are in life right now. And it may not be, it may not be Pisces that these people understand, okay, like where, where you are in life and where you're headed. Okay, they can't come with you is what I'm hearing. Some people can't come with you. And if you have these people around you, I don't know who I'm speaking to. I don't even know for who this reading is for. It's going to feel like there is some kind of imbalance. Like there's some kind of clashing interests. And you may wonder like, what do these people want? Like, why are they here? What, why do they want to collaborate? Why do they want to get to know you? Um, and I'm just getting Pisces. Yeah, like the interests are not aligned. Okay, this is why you had to get up and leave. And now you have some people that want to kind of follow your, your tracks or they want to go in the same direction. Some of these people may want to hitch their wagon to yours and it's not in your best interest, Pisces, because the Eight of Cups tells me that your energy was being drained, Pisces. Your energy was being held hostage and you were being, um, you were being advised, Pisces, to transition, to move away from this energy because this is the pond. As you can see here, these little cups or these bowls are sinking, okay? Nothing's changing in this pond, right? It's time for you to move in a different direction, that contract expired. And it's like, these people want to collaborate or they want to get to know you, or I don't even know what their intentions are, but I'm getting that the intentions are not aligned because the temperance is in the reverse. Clashing interests, oil and water, extremes, disharmony, a need to practice moderation in some aspects of your life, severity, polarity, and impatience. Don't do drastic right now. Stay away from all or nothing choices. Clearing your energy of extremes will foster a dynamic nourishing flow that is aligned with your perfect alchemical purpose. Seek equilibrium and be mindful of your resources while fuzzing all the elements to achieve a beautiful balance. I walk the middle path and I nourish my spiritual wholeness. Um, it says here, Pisces, maybe you've been overdoing it in your social life or binging television, drinks or food or overspending, focusing on a relationship that is depleting more energy than it is replenishing. Being wholly materialistic versus wholly spiritual. We live in a world of extreme passions and heated hustle. So slowing down the desire for excess in any one area of your life may be harder than you think. Temperance is the alchemist of life and it causes you to create your purposeful blend using moderation and patience as ingredients. Where are you focusing your precious energy right now? Alchemy, blending energies, harmony, moderation, masculine and feminine balance, duality and amalgamation the fluidity of time, meditation, the perpetual motion of life, neutrality, restraint, patience, and purpose. Yeah, Pisces, I'm getting that it may not be in your best interest, Pisces, to open up, okay, in the way that others may expect you, Pisces, because we got prioritized. Don't do all or nothing or go big or go home right now, Pisces. It's a time to make decisions from a place of balance. Some of you Pisces, I don't know if you are religious or spiritual, but the justice is divine intervention in your life, divine balance, divine assistance in your life. Some of you Pisces, you feel the most whole and complete and balanced and aligned when you are connected to the divine, when you are connected to yourself. And that keeps you at a very beautiful balance. But when you start to open up to new energies that have different motivations, different intentions, it may create this energy, okay? So I'm just putting that out there. I'm not getting that anyone is specifically, you know, out to get you or they're bad people. I'm not getting that. I'm just getting that the interests, the, the intentions are different, okay? And for some of you Pisces, it may not be aligned with where you're going or what is it that you want. So you may view this as, um, I don't want to say like a waste of time or a waste of energy, but it just feels like it's not really going anywhere. Eight of Cups, yeah, this is why you this is why you started to transition. This is why you started to move in a different direction. Because you notice that some people were just trying to keep you around, you know, just to keep you around. Just to see if they still have access to you. And it's like, how does that align with your goals? How does that align with where you're headed? Let me pull a few more messages. Holy Spirit, what are the messages that are coming in for Pisces in regards to this Three of Pentacles? What are the messages coming into Pisces in regards to this Three of Pentacles? New money. Life partner, 
divine match. Life partner, divine match, two of cups in the lovers, Pisces. This is literally mirroring back the same exact energy. Because Pisces, I don't know if this is a priority because we got life partner and divine match, but we also have new money and prioritize. Some of you Pisces, you may go back and forth between going all in into a project or work or a skill that you're developing and prioritizing yourself. And then all of a sudden, you realize that you're wanting some kind of connection or some kind of partnership, whether this is a friendship, this is your ride or die, or this is some kind of romantic relationship or a power couple kind of dynamic, okay? Because life partner and divine match, this is the person that you walk the journey of life with together. Like, you know, this is a person that you want on your side. This is your ride or die. But what I'm getting here, Pisces, is WTF, like really WTF. Because you're going back and forth, whoever I'm speaking to, this is very specific. This is not gonna be for all of you. Whoever I'm speaking to, it's like a WTF moment because you realize that at some points of your life, you're learning how to prioritize yourself, your needs, whether this is your work, your projects, your skills, new money coming into your life. And at other points of your life, you want your ride or die, okay? Whether this is your best friend, you know, for life, or this is your partner that you're gonna do life with, okay? Not just a twin flame, not just another soulmate, not just a karmic partner, not just another lesson, not just a fling, but the person that you're gonna do life with, okay? If that's the case, Pisces, you are wanting to open up, okay? If it's the life partner, the divine match, if it's just another person that has caught interest or has caught feelings, I'm getting that you're not really interested because it's WTF. You realize, Pisces, that there's clashing interests, that it's oil and water, and you really need to focus and prioritize the things that are most important to you, okay? And if that is working on yourself or your career, or the things that you're trying to achieve, and this thing is, this energy is distracting you or trying to hold you back, then yeah, it's just, it feels Pisces like going back and forth, okay? Like flip-flopping. Pisces, for some of you with prioritize, I'm getting that you're trying to figure out how you can do both, okay? How you can prioritize yourself and the things that you're wanting to accomplish, how to, okay, how to prioritize the new money coming into your life, and also, how to prioritize a life partner and a divine match, okay, Pisces? We're not meant to be solitary creatures. It's not the way that we're designed. Um, and again, I'm not here to impose any beliefs or anything like that, but life partner and divine match, whoever I'm speaking to, you may be the type of person that you just want to meet that ride or die, okay? That it's just gonna be there, okay? It's not just a fling, it's not this, it's not that. Like, this is a person that you can really invest into, that you can really just prioritize in your life without it taking you off course of the things that you want to do for yourself okay the right relationships pisces they're going to build you okay they're going to help you achieve your goals the ones that are not meant to stay in your life pisces and are karmic are going to continuously take you off the path so i'm getting pisces you're not just looking for passion or romance or a new distraction or a new fling or a muse like you're if this is a life partner and divine match, okay, then you want it and you want to prioritize that. But how are you going to know that, okay? How are you going to know that if you have to vet people and kiss all these frogs? Kind of like going back and forth between prioritizing new money and prioritizing yourself and the things that you want to do and all of a sudden wanting that connection, that ride or die, that life partner that's going to be with you so that you don't have to entertain all these people because your energy gets siphoned, your energy gets scattered. Um, yeah, I, I was hearing Pisces, someone was holding your energy hostage. Like you're trying to avoid those kinds of people that just are leeches, that are mosquitoes, that are just taking away, that are draining your energy and they don't bring anything positive. They don't bring anything constructive or productive to what you're trying to build here. So that's the thing, Pisces, that's how you're gonna know who's meant to stay in your life and who's just another lesson, okay? Are they helping you get to your goals? Are you seeing progress when it comes to your goals? Are you seeing growth in the direction that you wanna see? Or is it taking you off path? Is it distracting you? Is it making you confused? Is it making you wonder? Because a life partner, a divine match, is not gonna do that, Pisces. This is someone who's on the same page as you and you're able to do life together because you're going side by side. You have the same mission, the same goals, and the same objective. So you're able to hold hands and walk through life together. But a lot of people, Pisces, they just come in for the passion. They just come in for, you know, like the fling, the interest, you know, the curiosity. Maybe they just want a new muse, okay? A lot of times, Pisces, you're not meant to stay with a twin flame. You're not meant to stay with a soulmate, okay? But a life partner, a divine match, it may not be as intense of a connection. It may not be as hot and heavy and up and down or wondering and being confused. Like it may not be all that intensity, okay? But at least you know that this is your, like this is your partner, like this is your person. So I just see Pisces, um, 
I just see an energy here that is not fully balanced, okay? One where you are balanced with the divine, but another one is people have different motives, different intentions, hidden agendas, okay? Not to say that they're bad, but they may have, yeah, different interests, different motivations than yours, and it's not necessarily taking you on the same path, okay? So there's a need, Pisces, to just be fully honest with yourself and admit who are those people, Pisces, that you don't want to be like. Who are those people in your life, Pisces, that kind of distract you or create confusion or you don't really get much value from um, in a sense where you may feel like they're, it's like oil and water. Like if you surround yourself with these people, what kind of effects are you going to have in your life? Okay, it's just, it's just being very real with yourself, okay, and what you're trying to achieve in your life, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, we have ROI. Is this the return of investment that you want? Okay, is it returning the same love, care, and compassion that you're giving? Is it returning the same kind of attention and motivation that you're giving? Okay, because in the beginning of the because in the beginning of the reading, Pisces, I heard your superpower is making people feel seen. Okay, like you can do that for people, but can people do that for you as well? Okay, like it's just a it's just a need, Pisces, to recognize who's also pouring into you. Thirty five fifty five on the clock. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm gonna pull a few more messages. Ooh, we got eyes. It's in the eyes, Pisces. Some of you, Pisces, you don't even have to use your words, okay? Either your eyes or your facial expressions are going to communicate to people. You don't have to do the talking. You don't have to say much. Your eyes are going to do the talking for you. It's either your eyes or your facial expressions, Pisces. But yeah. Pisces, people can feel that you know something. Like, you, like you're in tune and you're connected to yourself. And they can feel that off of your eye contact, Pisces. The way that you look at people, it's like you don't avoid, you're not hiding your gaze. And yeah, it's through your eyes that they feel seen. Like them as a being, as a, as a soul, as a spirit, okay? As a whole being, okay? Whereas people may look surface level and kind of scan, okay? And just kind of glance at people. It's like you really see people. You really see through them, okay? Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. If you're opening up to new people and you don't know if this person is, I don't know, maybe a potential business partner or a potential friend or a potential new connection that you could network with or someone that has taken some kind of platonic or romantic interest in you, look them in the eyes, Pisces, okay? Ask them all the questions that you need to ask them so that this way, Pisces, if you're connected to yourself, okay, and when you're asking these questions, you're looking into their eyes, you're going to get a lot of information, you're going to get your answers, Pisces. You don't have to, you don't have to go into this blindsided. You don't have to just go into this with faith, okay? Or hope or belief that something's going to work out. Like you're going to be able to catch on the cues. If this person is meant to be in your life or not, okay? Look them in the eyes and you're going to be able to vet a lot of people out of your life, okay? Whether they're meant to stay in your life or not, okay? Not to say that they're good or bad, but is it aligned with where you want to go? Okay, let me go ahead and pull a few more messages. I really like that life partner divine match message, Pisces, because I'm not getting it as romantic. I'm not really getting all the fairy tales happily ever after kind of energy. I'm not getting that, Pisces, whatsoever. I'm getting more of like a partnership, okay? Like a ride or die, someone you can do life with. So let's go ahead and see what else comes in. Feelings. So we got eyes, feelings, and major success. Ooh, Pisces, yeah. Okay, this is why prioritize is here. Are you wanting to prioritize your success at this time? Are you wanting to prioritize new money at this time? Or are you wanting to prioritize feelings, okay? In a life partner, in a divine match, okay? WTF, okay, some of you Pisces, you may feel like you're going back and forth because you have a lot of options coming into your life and you're having to really ground yourself and ground your vision like what direction are you going to go in what are you going to focus your energy on and it doesn't have to be either or some people can balance both at the same time but this is this is a task within itself it's not easy this is why it's in the reverse you have to know pisces what it does to your energy to connect to others whether family friends uh, you know potential romantic interests potential partnerships potential business partnerships you got to know what it does to you you got to know how to prioritize yourself first and always do what's best for you. How do you look after your own best interests, Pisces? How do you do what's right for you, okay? And it's just taking the emotions and the feelings out of it and viewing it in a very rational, logical way. And this allows you, Pisces, to gain clarity with what you want to do with your energy, where you're headed in life. Because some of you, Pisces, I'm going to be very honest, you have a lot of options in life, 
okay, period. Whether it's business, whether it's work, whether it's learning new skills, having new offers coming to your door, new people trying to get to know you, you got a lot of offers coming to you, period, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is a very attractive energy, but it does it benefit you? Is it is it not to say that it's not a good opportunity, but is it going in the same direction that you want to go? And this is Pisces where you have to get clear, very clear, very specific on what you want, okay? How much new money do you want, okay? Where are you going to find this major success? Who is a life partner to you? Who is a divine match for you? What would you want in a life partner? Write out those qualities, Pisces, so that you know what your non-negotiables are, so that you don't get pulled, Pisces, into a situation where you're trying to make things work for the sake of compromising and making something happen it's like you don't gotta compromise like that the one person pisces that is meant to do life with you you guys are going side by side because you're already on the same path on the same mission okay so to find that person you have to be very clear on where you're headed what does it look like for you so that you can match the vision and know that you guys are aligned okay not just emotionally okay but also it makes sense it's logical to be together in this journey, okay, as a partner. Yeah, that's why I'm getting WTF. A lot of you Pisces, it's like, you got a lot happening in your life. You got a lot of options coming in and it's, yeah, WTF. How do you prioritize this? How do you vet these options? Not to say that they're not good opportunities or good people, but is it is it going in the same direction that you are? Okay, like that's what I'm getting here. Let me pull a few more messages here, Pisces, and then we're gonna move on. Um, to the extended let's go ahead and see again for the ones that resonate with the extended the link will be in the description box below for everybody else i will be posting more readings on youtube Ooh, obsessed with you i don't like that pisces because it says focus okay yeah what pisces what did i say someone is holding your energy hostage someone pisces is obsessed okay but being obsessed, Pisces, doesn't mean that they have the best interest in mind for you or that they even have the same goals as you or that they're even trying to stay in your life. Like being obsessed with you, Pisces, like why would you want someone to be obsessed with you, okay? If it's not in alignment with your goals or what you're trying to achieve because someone, Pisces, being obsessed with you, you're going to feel that energetically, mentally, you're going to feel that pull energetically, okay? Even if you try and cut cords, Pisces, even if you try to... Even if you try to cut cords, Pisces, even if you try to detach your energy, you're going to feel their energy in yours, okay? Period. This is why it can create a distraction in your life, Pisces. Um, that's why it says prioritize and focus. Because this obsession that these people or this person may have with you, yeah, it's felt. But is obsession love? Is obsession having your best interest in mind and at heart? No. Obsession, Pisces, is not healthy. It doesn't really do anything for you other than feed your ego or, you know, let you know that, yeah, you are someone that's desirable. You are someone that a lot of people want to be around. But what does that do for your goals? What does that do for your dreams? What does that actually even do for you? Okay? Having someone obsessed with you it doesn't really do much for you. Okay? Um, unless you're trying to control them, unless you're trying to, you know, keep them in your energy or feed off of their energy. But what I'm getting here is that it's actually distracting your energy. It's actually trying to feed off of yours. Okay? Pisces, whoever is obsessed with you, that's a leech. Okay? Like, it's not... It's not in your best interest, Pisces, to allow this obsession to play out, okay? Because it can be very intense, very passionate, all-consuming, but where is it actually getting you in the long, like, on long term, like, where is it actually getting you? Is this, like, a short-term kind of obsession thing, you know? Because if it is, it's going to take you off the path, and you're going to have to do the work to get back on the path and get back to being focused. If you're able to break the cycle now and establish these boundaries now, you're not going to be distracted anymore. Okay, because focus is here. Prioritize and focus. Someone Pisces is acting as a distraction in your life, and this may be a test within itself. Are you going to allow this distraction, Pisces, to take your mind off of what you're trying to accomplish in your life? Just because of their obsession, just because of their passion or their intensity or what they think that they want. I don't think it's fair to you, Pisces. This is why justice is your first card. What is just, what is fair for you? Not for that person, okay? Leave that person aside because someone is definitely in your energy, okay? Yeah, I don't know, Pisces. I'm getting Capricorn energy. I don't, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but I'm getting like the devil card. We don't have it out here, but that's what I'm feeling, okay, with that obsession. Let me pull a few more messages and we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the extended for the ones that do resonate. So we got gifted and breakthrough Pisces. Pisces wants you to allow yourself to have fun and to gift yourself 
the things that you want, okay? Because all play and no fun Pisces will make you a dual boy or a dual girl, okay? Like you, you do need to have some fun. And that doesn't have to be Pisces that you just, I don't know, you just take off for a whole month or you take off for a whole week. It doesn't have to be like that. Sometimes you can do little things or sometimes you can give yourself those big rewards. But yeah, what is it that you're... What is it that you're needing to do for yourself, Pisces, to reward yourself? Do you need a vacation? Do you need a gift, okay? Do you need to do something for yourself that you've been wanting to do? Because some way, somehow, as you pour into yourself, it's going to pour into you. And it's going to create a breakthrough in your energy. Yeah, gifted and vacation. With gifted, I'm getting more like, this is a gift. Like, giving yourself a gift, okay? I don't know, Pisces. Tell me more about gifted, Holy Spirit. Clarify gifted for Pisces. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, King of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> okay, so I'm getting two different messages, Pisces. For some of you, yeah, this is about giving yourself a gift, Pisces. But for others of you, this is about being gifted, okay? Being gifted and not using your gifts, not actually putting them into action, going back and forth between should I, should I not? Should I do this? Should I move forward with this? Should I put this into practice or should I not? It's like this back and forth, not making a decision, okay? Not putting your gifts into action. King of Wands in the reverse. So that's what I'm getting, Pisces. For some of you, it's time to give yourself some kind of a gift, okay? Again, so that things don't get repetitive, so that things don't get boring, so that you're pouring back into yourself, all right? And for others of you, it's about being gifted and not putting your gifts into action, into practice. For some of you, Pisces, you may need to really get clear on what your gifts are. Okay, like write out your gifts, write out your qualities and your strengths, because some of you Pisces, you may be so used to your gifts that you're not even aware what they are. Other people may see them in you, okay, but you're so used to it that you may not even see it in yourself. Okay, so it's time to get very honest about what those gifts are within you, Pisces. What are those gifts, Pisces, so that you can put them into practice, so that you can put them into motion? This card specifically is kind of like, you know what you want to do, you kind of want to do it. It's kind of like dipping your toe in the water and then pulling it out and then wanting to kind of jump, but you're, you're kind of like stalling there. So some of you, Pisces, you just need to reassure yourself. You just need to touch base with yourself and, and recognize what those strengths and what those gifts are. And just be fully honest. Like, don't be humble, Pisces. Like, really just acknowledge what they are. Okay, um, tell me more, Holy Spirit. I'm going to get one more message and I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Congratulations. Okay, I'm going to put these back because it's three cards and I just want one more. Holy Spirit, give me one more message for Pisces. Okay, if it's going to come out, it's going to come out. I've seen it happen before. Where we put the cards back and the same cards come out. I'm just going to get one more. <laughs> We got sexy Pisces as your last message, okay? Oh, sexy, there you go. Pisces, yeah, okay, you're gonna have a lot of attention, but what you do with that attention, Pisces, is all up to you. There's a need to prioritize and focus on what you're trying to do, okay? Because if you just get caught up in that attention and all the opportunities that are coming your way, um, it's very easy to fall off track. It's very easy to just kind of live in that energy because it feels so good, okay? Um, so yeah, you're, you're coming off, Pisces, is very you know, sexy, okay? And this can just be that you're so comfortable within yourself that you just don't really care to appear a certain way. You don't really care to go that extra mile for someone else, okay? Like, you'll go that extra mile for yourself, but you don't really care to do it for someone else, okay? Like, this is about you. And confidence is sexy, Pisces. So some people, they like the energy that you're giving off, okay? But you gotta know who the time wasters are, who the people that just wanna kinda come around and they're just curious about you, they just wanna know, okay? I did a reading Pisces on the Patreon side that is not on YouTube, so I'm gonna have some um, additional content on the Patreon side. Again, it gives you access to all the readings. Um, but I just did a reading there and we had a message saying, a very specific message saying that people could be curious about you, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they care about you, okay? So you may, you may, Pisces, you may regret opening up to certain people because there's no purpose in the connection. It's like some people just don't deserve to know you like that, okay? This is why you gotta focus and prioritize your energy because yeah, you may get a lot of attention, but what's the purpose of that attention? What are you gonna do with it, okay? Um, yeah, it may feel good to get all that attention, but yeah, just recognize the, the difference. Curiosity doesn't mean that they really care about you, okay? Some of them, they just want to come around, see what you're about. They want it, they're excited about your energy, okay? It's very new. Uh, other people, Pisces, they may have 
uh, attraction or interest towards you, but that's interested in you, but that's not actually being invested in you. So you got to know the difference, Pisces. That reading is on the Patreon side. If you resonate with this, um, you can get the link on the community tab. So it's on there. But that was the main message that I got and it's coming back in here because yeah, you got people that are obsessed with you. You got people that view you as sexy. Why? Doesn't even have to do with looks, Pisces. I'm getting that, yeah, okay, nine of pentacles, you're the full package, Pisces, but it's not even just about looks. Sexiness, Pisces, is a confidence that you have within yourself to where you could just walk around naked, you know, in your house, you know, and just not feel insecure about certain areas of your body. Like, this is just, this is who I am, okay? This is where I'm at, okay? Not trying to appear or try and do certain things for other people, but you're doing them for you, okay? That's sexy, that energy is sexy. So you just got to be aware, Pisces, why people are coming into your life. What are, what are their motives? Are they just curious or just are they just interested? Are they just attracted or are they truly invested? Is this actually serving a purpose in your life? OK, so that's what I'm getting, Pisces. I'm going to be moving this over to the extended and we're going to go ahead and dive deeper into this reading. Um, again, for the ones that resonate, the link will be in the description box. Also, I'm going to be posting more often on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get some uh, Oracle cards and see what comes in. Okay, we have help is on the way. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's a lot of cards. I'm not taking those cards. dreams go with the flow and overcoming obstacles Pisces I'm gonna go ahead and move this over to the extended I'm gonna go ahead and look into help is on the way who's coming into your life who's here to help you okay we're gonna go ahead and look into dreams spirits advice and hidden challenges that you don't see coming and yeah overcoming obstacles and going with the flow Pisces Again, for the ones that resonate, the link will be in the description box below. For everyone else, I will be posting more often on YouTube. Blessings, Pisces. Take care.